Hi, I'm Mark Regan, Global Director of Artistry and Education for Hourglass Cosmetics. And I'm Kitty O'Donnell, the Brand and Content Editor at The Cut. And today we're going to show you how you can get an effortless everyday look that really focuses on complexion so that people really notice how beautiful you look rather than your makeup. So Katie, tell me a little bit about your skin and what you're hoping to achieve today. I'm all about a really healthy look, so I want my skin to look really even and bright and beautiful, but not like I'm wearing a ton of makeup, if that makes sense. That uh, makes total sense. So the first thing we want to do is treat the skin. So I'm just going to use a nice hydrating moisturizer. So even though we're going to use primer and we're going to use foundation, mm -hmm. you still want to treat the skin with what it needs. Right. The next thing to do is prime the skin before foundation. So we're using our Veil Mineral Primer. So you just use one pump, maybe one and a half pumps to start out with. And I'm actually going to smooth it on with my fingers, focusing on the areas that you might have more concerns. It feels so good. Yeah, it's just amazing how it works on every single skin type, and it really gives that silkiness that you're looking for. Okay, so now we're ready for foundation. Great. And I have a foundation in mind, but tell me a little bit about what your thoughts are. I'm a little bit um, unsure of where to go with foundation. I haven't found my sweet spot yet, okay. but I'm really open to your recommendation. I like something that feels um, lightweight and again, natural. So obviously no one wants a cakey foundation look. Right. So um, color matching is also really important to me. So something that fits my actual skin tone and looks you know, as, as real and beautiful as possible. Right, you want the perfection, but you don't want it to look like makeup. You exactly. want to look like your skin. Yeah. So I have a great foundation. It's one of our favorites at Hourglass. It's called the Vanish Seamless Finish Foundation Stick. One thing is always starting with your area of concern. So if you have redness in the cheeks, that's really where I started. But you know, everyone has a different concern. So that's key, one, where you start. And then two, how much you apply. So with a stick, your natural tendency is to swipe all over the face. But in fact, because this is a highly pigmented formula, it's very concentrated, so a little goes a long way. I was also surprised at how it feels. It sort of glides on as opposed to, you know, like sticking. Like you can you feel it, right? Yeah. yeah. So that makes a huge difference too in ease of application and how you will feel comfortable with it at home. Your skin looks incredible. Thank you. I must say. And it's not me, it's the product. But now we need to set it. We need to make sure that it stays in place. And I think one of the common things that people are afraid of is setting powder because it often then takes the makeup from looking natural to really cakey. Mm. You'll never get that with this product. So this is our Veil Translucent Setting Powder and it is unbelievable. The texture is amazing. It continues to blur the complexion, but it also has something called diamond powder in Ooh. it. So just, just take a little bit of that in between your fingers. Oh my gosh, that feels so silky, beautiful. So you know exactly how it's gonna lay down on your skin and it's gonna give you that silkiness. Mm -hmm. Never look powdery, but it's actually gonna mm -hmm. hold your makeup in place. Okay, so the great thing about this brush also, so we're applying it through most of the shiniest areas, well, at least the parts that are gonna get shiny throughout the day. That's where we're gonna focus the initial application. And you'll see I'm using the larger side of the brush. Mm -hmm. Then we have this detailed side, which is a smaller head, and this is gonna allow you to get into those smaller areas without over applying the powder. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna show you a little trick that we have and it's with these very unique products called ambient lighting powders. Mm -hmm. These are finishing powders. So you can use them in different ways to add little tints of color to the skin. And what they do is they refract light and bring only the favorable light to your skin so that you kind of always just look like you're perfectly lit from within, but no one knows why. Sold. Okay. <laughs> Just dust through all three to begin with. Okay. So I'm going to show you the technique to do that. I'm definitely a person who likes some shimmer or shine, you know, catching that light, like you right. said, but not full on sparkle or glitter. Right. Just a little scary. Then this is your new best friend. Oh, that looks so pretty. I love it. Your complexion's done. It looks beautiful. But now we want to focus on defining some of your other features, like mm -hmm. your brows and your eyes. So first, combing through the hairs to see where the hair growth is. And you don't really want to try to get them uh, in a different place. You want to work with where they are and the direction that they're growing in. We're trying to mimic what a natural full brow would look mm -hmm. like. 
We have the color in your brow just where we want it. And now we're gonna set the hairs in place and add a little more volume to the arch and the tail with our arch brow volumizing fiber gel. It's also a great tool for when you don't have as much time. That happens a lot, so yes. it's a really good option. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I'm gonna add a touch of sparkle with our scattered light glitter eyeshadow. It's so easy to apply. You just dip your finger into the pot, swipe it onto the eye, and then use your finger to blend out the edges just so it's completely diffused and seamless, but it's that easy. It's done. Now we're ready for eyeliner. And I know you like a wing tip. I do. Okay. First, we're just gonna line along the lash line, but cutting it a little bit short because we know we want to lift with that wing. So just before the lid starts to go downwards, we want to start with our flick. Once we draw that in and we give that little bit of lift to that end of the wing, then we can fill in and go back in. And now there's only one touch left for the complexion, which is to add a little more color back into the skin. So we're gonna pop a blush on. So as you're applying it, you just focus on where to place it. So higher on the cheek first and then blend down and back because you're trying to enhance your cheek shape and just bring that beautiful flush to the skin. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're ready for lip color. So with one swipe, you're going to have fuller looking lips. You're gonna have a nice sheen to it. And it's just gonna be that touch of color I think you're looking for. Oh, I love that. That's really, really pretty. I think this is the epitome of an effortless everyday look because you just look so chic and so beautiful. Thank you so much. And it really goes to show if you learn a little bit more about the products and their use that you can go so much farther with your everyday makeup. Yeah, it just gives you more to work with and more knowledge gives you more flexibility. Definitely. Yay. Thanks for having me. Thanks, Mark. <laughs>